In this video, we're going to be going over the lab safety contract for anatomy and physiology laboratories, as well as an overview of the laboratory space. Please note, the lab safety contract is also in your lab manual and will be posted on Blackboard. The safety contract. While in the anatomy and physiology laboratories, the following safety guidelines must be followed at all times. 1. No eating, drinking, or application of cosmetics, including lip balm, is allowed in the laboratory to prevent possible contamination. 2. No children or individuals who are not Stark State Anatomy and Physiology students are allowed in the laboratories. Potential hazardous materials and sharp instruments may be present in the lab which can pose safety concerns and liability issues. 3. Follow only the authorized lab procedures and instructions as outlined in the laboratory manual or given by your instructor. If you have any questions concerning the laboratory procedure, please consult your instructor before proceeding. 4. Please thoroughly clean up your lab station using the provided disinfectant after each lab. This includes returning all materials and specimens to their proper locations, cleaning and drying any equipment, and properly disposing of any waste in locations as indicated by your lab instructor. 5. Prior to leaving the lab, please wash your hands in order to prevent spread of communicable diseases. 6. Use caution when handling scalpels, other sharp equipment, and chemicals in order to prevent injury to yourself or others. 7. Because of the expensive lab equipment and models, please treat them with caution and respect to prevent damage. 8. Inform your instructor of any broken equipment or materials in the lab. If any glass or scapulas break, the instructor needs to properly dispose of the broken materials in the appropriate container. In addition, the instructor needs to inform the laboratory manager for replacement and inventory of any broken or damaged lab materials or equipment. Number 9. With the lab instructor's guidance, learn the locations and, if necessary, the operations of the following. The location of these items will be reviewed in the room tour slide. A. The fire alarm. B. The emergency exit route. C. The fire extinguisher. D. The fire blanket. E. The first aid kit. F. The eye wash station and safety shower. G. Automated external heart defibrillator, which is located on the first floor by the elevator. H. Stark State Security Phone Number 330-704-2582. We suggest that this number be programmed into your cell phone. 10. Please report any lab accidents to the lab instructor. Accident reports may need to be processed for laboratory accidents. 11. Physical examination and limited dissection of the preserved anatomical specimens is an integral part of the laboratory experience. When participating in these lab activities, it is mandatory to wear gloves. Liquid-resistant lab coats, goggles, or safety glasses, and respiratory protection are optional but recommended. Wearing contact lenses may be inadvisable because they may trap irritants on the surface of the eye. 12. It is the responsibility of the student to understand and evaluate the risks associated with participation in anatomy and physiology labs. Exposure to chemicals such as formaldehyde, phenols, and others is possible. Every anatomy and physiology lab has the material safety data sheets, the MSDS, available which provide detailed information about any chemicals that may be present in labs. If you would like a copy of the MSDS sheet, your instructor can provide them to you as a complete packet. Note, the location of the MSDS sheets will also be noted in the tour video. 13. If you have any concerns such as asthma, allergies, or pregnancy, please inform your instructor who will provide you with the MSDS packet which you can share and discuss with your physician. You may be required to have a sign release from your physician in order to participate in lab. 14. For your safety, please use the following directions for sitting in the BioFit lab chairs. Prior to sitting, grasp the back of the chair so it doesn't slip. Always sit so that your back is in contact with the chair back. Do not sit on the edge of the seat. The weight limit for the chair is 350 pounds as 24-7 use. If this capacity does not meet your needs, you are encouraged to inform your instructor after lab to discuss other options to meet your needs. Such conversations will remain confidential. 15. Face masks or face shields are required for everyone's protection while in the lab. A reminder, the lab safety contract is in the blackboard as well as your lab manual. 
you will be required to electronically sign and turn in to your professor. The Cadaver Bill of Rights. At Stark State College, students and faculty are fortunate to use human cadavers to assist in the learning process in the anatomy labs. Out of respect for the generous gift of learning that these donors have given us, we have developed a Bill of Rights similar to that in many hospitals. Please read the following rights of the cadavers and sign the agreement electronically at the bottom of the page indicating that you as a student will honor and respect their gifts. Stark State College recognizes that the cadavers have a number of basic rights. These include, but are not limited to, the following. The right to considerate, respectful treatment before, during, and after labs at all times and under all circumstances with recognition of their personal dignity. The right to privacy, both in the laboratory setting and outside the laboratory. The right to privacy includes absolutely no photography, including by cell phones and computer tablets at any time. The right to expect confidentiality, which assumes that any discussion of the cadavers outside the lecture or laboratory setting in public areas within or outside of the college will be conducted discreetly and privately. I understand and agree to abide by the Cadaver Bill of Rights. Failure to adhere to these standards may result in my removal from the lab and disciplinary action according to the Stark State's Policy and Procedures Manual. In the room tour, we'll be going over some key items and locations, as well as some things to know about lab. As we go further, we identify a safety equipment, the first aid kit, then the fire blanket, Through the door, we see there's a lab, safety shower, and eye wash station. Here on the wall is a collection of information you might need in case of emergency, including our exit route. Now we're going to show you the exit route. Here is your fire alarm in case of emergencies pull down, and on the left, your emergency exit. Now I'll demonstrate how to properly disinfect your table. You start by getting some paper towels in the disinfectant, MetroGuard. You will spray the table and ensure every area is wet. Do not attempt to dry the table fully. Once you have fully disinfected your table, you should follow this up by washing your hands. I will now demo how to operate the sink. The pedals for hot and cold are right below you. The soap is to your left and the towel is directly in front of you. Upon entering the room on the left, there is the lab cart, consisting of gloves, lab resources, as well as the SDS sheet. This completes the lab safety contract overview as well as the room tour.